Hidey ho neighbors, Rado Goji here, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 5 again. We're going after Charge Man now, because last time we wasted all of our energy tanks fighting Stone Man. I'm still kind of cross at that, but the show must go on. Uh, I always thought Charge Man was kind of neat with the whole train theme. Uh, apparently, the train was one that a lot of people didn't like, or I think they just didn't like his weapon. Because it was like it was like top spin. You had to actually run into your enemies in order to use it. Um, we'll see what you'll see what I'm talking about uh, when we actually get it. But we have met tools and trains. Train! Yeah, there's a lot of train theme stuff here because it's a train themed boss. I said that already. I mean, hell, you could, you could look at him and say, oh yeah, that's Train. Why didn't they call him Train Man? They call him Charge... I guess because he charges at you. But why... I would have just called him Train Man. I mean, I know that the, that the, that the, the contest winners not only came up with, you know, the designs, like, it's the basic design. I mean, I, 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 could, I could understand Capcom tweaking the designs a bit. But, like, when, the, when you know, when you win the contest... Um, you come up with a name, too. And I don't know if he, if Charge Man looked incredibly different. But why didn't they just call him Train Man? I mean, there's no reason not to. Also, there's lots of these chicken, chicken enemies here. And these rats. I hate the rats. There are a lot, there are a lot of enemies, as you've seen that are really small and charge at you. Or just charge back, go back and forth between walls and stuff. I think they're trying to get you to use your charge shot more. Because you can hit them with your charge shot, but... I'm not one of those guys, I'm not one of those people who plays who plays these Mega Man games and like, you know, keeps their charge sh shot up all the time, because that can really screw you over if you do that, because it... Um, you've probably noticed, but when you get hit, and you're charging your, your buster, you lose the charge if you get hit. Also, there's an A up there. I thought the other A was in Wave Man stage. Oh well. It's for process of elimination, it's the E. But yeah, um... For whatever reason, or, I mean, I guess, you know, for reasons of probably challenge stuff, because, I mean, Mega Man 4... Um, you were perfectly fine. Like, you didn't lose your charge when you got hit in Mega Man 4. Mega Man 5 and 6 and onward, I believe, or at least for the characters that do have charge shots, you do lose your charge after you get hit. And, um... It can be annoying, but at the same time, I guess they were getting rid of a, a lot of the cheapness. But I'm not one of those people who keeps the charge shot up, because... If I get hit, and then I try to shoot off the charge shot, nothing comes out, because all I did was let go of the B button. And letting go of the B button doesn't do anything. Unless you're charging. If you're not charging, um, it just doesn't do anything. And we're at the, we're at the boss already. A fairly straightforward level. Um, I'm fairly sure that... Charge Man is also kind of a pain. In fact, I'm fairly sure that he's kind of a pain. Because his weakness is a horrible, horrible weapon. This is Power Stone. And he just walks into you. Half the time. He walks into you. Seriously. That's half of his... I'm conflicted as to whether I'm. I was I was conflicted as to whether or not I just wanted to you know die or waste a mega tank because he keeps walking into you, and the weapon you have is absolutely ludicrously horrible. I'm gonna use that word again. Absoludicrous. It is absoludicrous. Absoludicrous. I'm gonna use that word to describe everything that. Uh, everything that's absolute, Chris. I guess Cause that's what it describes. Is everything that is absolute, Chris. This is, this is, this is horrible. 
No, I mean, I still love this game, but... Charge Man. <laughs> he's not really char... He's, I mean, he charges you a couple times, yeah, but... It's mostly shoot fireball and walk into you, man. And also, as you can see, Power Stone is horrible. Luckily, the weapon that we get is one that people, again, people don't really like, but it's a lot less horrible than Power Stone. And uh, that move is Charge Kick. In order to use Charge Kick, you don't use the B button, you slide. You slide into enemies and damage them. And it's a lot like Top Spin, so people don't like it because, you know, you have to damage yourself. You... Or if you don't, if you don't know, I guess, uh, I, I, cause I don't know how to control it, obviously. Because... I suck at video games, but um, if you, if you're not careful, I mean, you can you can hurt yourself using it, and I'm fairly sure you're going to hurt yourself a lot using it anyway, because of just how, the nature of the of the move. Um, but I'll t I'll tell you this: at least it can hit stuff. Power Stone. Power Stone's a horrible, horrible move. Now these pipes. Basically, once you go down, go, go down a pipe, you go down a pipe, and if you go down certain pipes, you get power-ups. And it's usually the hard, and obviously it's going to be the harder to get to pipes that will lead you to the good stuff. Like those other, like that other pipe, it would have just led me down here. Um, however, the pipe I went through led me to a one-up. I'm fairly sure there's one, another one here that leads you to a uh, an energy an energy tank. <clears throat> also, as you've seen, uh, a lot of steam geysers here. And bubbles. Um, I think this is the first uh, first uh, level in a Mega Man game to have uh, plat bu bubble, plat bubble platforms. Smaller ones break after time. Larger ones carry you indefinitely. Uh, however, they only go up. And the only reason I jumped was because spikes... And now we're pretty much at the halfway point, because of this, jet skiing. And I'm actually going to, hold on, shift pause. I'm pausing the emulator so that I know I actually haven't been saving states like I should have. That could be disastrous. I, I'm, I'm just glad that... Um, Nothing went wrong with the recording of the past two parts in that case, because, um... I forgot to save states. Now, the, um... The letter here isn't that hard to miss. Um... But it is... Uh, it, it is, but it isn't. Because it's, um... It's not. It's it's easy, it's easy to spot and it's easy to get, but if you do miss it, you can't go back for it because this is an auto-scrolling stage um, on the jet ski. Oh, also, uh, no no charge shots on the jet ski, uh, but they do unleash the kraken on you, and obviously that uh, that green spot in its head is um, is the uh, is the weak point. I think the letter comes up here. It's going to come up soon. I know it. I think it's after you... Because you have to, I think you have to find another one of those Kraken things. I'm going to call them Krakens, because... They look more like Krakens than, you know, regular squids. I think you have to find another one of those before you, have to, before you get... I think, yeah, I think it's in the... No, it's right there. But that's what happens. You can miss it. Because, um, you can't go back for it. You know, I'm just gonna... Well, you know what? I saved, I saved that state for a reason. We're gonna load the state. And then no more. But still. Um... If you get hit, like I did, you can't jump. And if you miss it, you can't go back for it, because these parts are auto-scrolling.
So you just gotta get used to how stuff works. Make sure to get hit as little as possible. I mean, you know, basic your basic uh, rules for for games is not to get hit. Um, <laughs> but you know, get hit less. Uh, really try uh, not to get hit because um, otherwise you can't jump, and uh, then you can very easily. I saved the safe there, by the way, right after the uh, the mini boss. You can very easily get hit here. Especially with dudes coming up behind you. Uh, these dolphin things, uh, which are a little hard to dodge. I got one up, that's not too bad. And it also comes up in a part where it's very easy to get hit. Um, see, there's two dolphins there. I rather, I should say, you, you can't jump right away after you got hit, and that's what happened to me last time. Was I, 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 um, I got hit and then tried to jump right at, right at, uh, right away, and the timing was off. And yeah, well, we're at the end of the stage now. So yeah, another short stage. And uh, we're at our ultimate robot master, Wave Man. And, um, I'm debating whether or not I should... I'm probably going to go for it. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's start, let's start cracking out the, um, the, uh, the charge kick. And, uh, this is what you actually get for beating the... Uh, getting all of the letters. I'll show that off in a second. But it, it's beat the bird. And I almost forgot... And, uh, Waveman hits for a lot, I've noticed. Now, if I remember correctly, um, Charge Kick, Charge Kick doesn't take up a lot of energy to use, but it does use it every time you slide. But if you can... If you can hit him, you know... I don't think it really damages you if you if you actually hit him, but it's still it's 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 easy to get hit because you do have to like go right into the enemy in order to use the move. And I guess I can see why a lot of people don't like it. Uh, I do see it as a lot better than Top Spin though because Top Spin was glitchy, and there have been times where most of the time when I use it, like I, I can kill Shadow Man in like a couple hits and it doesn't take any energy away. There are other times when I fight Shadow Man, and it takes all of the energy away, but doesn't hit him. So Top Spin is a glitchy mess. We're gonna go after Proto Man now. Or Blues, if you want to call him by his Japanese name. I call him Proto Man because, uh, I'm from America, and that's what he's called in America. Anywhere outside Japan, really. But yes, Proto Man's Castle. The music here is awesome. But we are going to be seeing some more Tigers. There's the tiger. I don't like the tigers. Uh, as we've seen in Napalm Man stage, they are very annoying, very annoying creatures. And it's not like there's just going to be like one of them. Um, <laughs> usually, when you find one enemy in uh, in a particular area, uh, there's going to be far more than just the one enemy there. I think the um, the uh, the main exceptions to the rule are like the Crusher robots, but uh, other than that, like, you know, we got, you know, tigers, and... We got tigers all over the place now. Look at them. Holy crap. Luckily, one charge shot will take them out. And they're also differently colored. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of recolors in this game. Here's a good place to show off what Beat can do. Beat shows up. He goes after enemies and takes them out. The main reason I'm not keeping Beat out is because it does use energy every time he hits something. And uh, I don't want him to hit uh, that stuff too much because that'll really drain his um, really drain his energy, and I kind of want to save the energy. Um, well, actually, I think it should be okay, but just in case, uh, for for reasons. I mean, I'll still use him at points, but you know, for reasons that will be uh, obvious later, I kind of want to hold on to as much energy as I can from him. And again, I probably should be uh, focusing more on using some Robot Master weapons. 
gyro, gy gyro attack would have really helped there. Oh no. Oh no, I know what's coming next. I recognize the background. Um, it's, uh, disappearing, reappearing blocks. Um, and, um, yeah, disappearing, reappearing blocks. It seems that, like, a lot of the later games seem to want to save those for, like, the castle area. Um, because we didn't see any uh, in any of the Robot Master stages. But, um, okay, I, I, we didn't see any there. But we will be seeing them uh, in in uh, Proto Man's castle, and uh, that's no bueno. I don't like uh, I don't like the disappearing, reappearing blocks. You know, that's the entire reason why I take the rush jet through the stage, or I take the rush jet in Mega Man Three through the stage that everybody starts off on, because I freaking hate those blocks. Plus, I'm more used to clearing Hard Man stage than I am clearing Magnet Man stage first. <coughs> but still. Uh, enough talking about Mega Man 3. This is Mega Man 5. Um, let's see. I know I have rushed it out, but that's probably going to be a poor idea in the grand scheme of things. Okay. I, I, I count that up to luck. This not going to be so lucky. I'm going to suck here. I can't even jump to that one because the other one was going to be right above me. I don't know. I don't know what it is with patterns and stuff. I just can't figure them out. Well, that was okay. That was incredibly stupid of me. And we're probably back at the beginning of the level. Well, now we're back here. But for now, let's pause the game. And uh, when we come back, more Proto Man's uh, castle. I don't know why it took me so long to think of castle. I've been Rado Goji, and I'll be here next time. Join me, won't you?